um, well, first of all, I love Paris. So every time I'm allowed to come here, I'm very excited because I, I just love this city. How could I not? So many beautiful memories. When it comes to promotion in general, it's a privilege, if I'm honest, because promotion means that people are interested. It means that people want to hear what you have to say. So, again, thank you for your time. And, yeah, I'm very excited because I love to talk about my projects. Um, well, when it comes to the project of the book, it started not very romantic. Um, after winning the Eurovision, a uh, publisher came up to me and he asked me if I want to release a book about my life. And I said, thank you, but no, thank you. I'm just 26 years old and it's just way too early to write down your memoirs or wh wherever you will put it. And... Well, they kept on context, contacting us and they forced me to think about it. And after a few weeks, I said, okay, listen, if we create a book, it needs to be a book that I will buy myself and books that I buy are featuring many pictures. So I packed this book with pictures because I'm a very visual person and I think a picture is telling such a strong story. So after that, they arranged a meeting with um, my potential ghostwriter. And I sat down with him and I enjoyed this conversation so much that I agreed doing it. And now sitting here, having this book released and, and made together with the ghostwriter, it is such a beautiful experience to get the chance to walk through, through your life and have it on your table in one piece. I learned so many things about myself and I, I realized so many things that, you know, repeated themselves over the years. So I really came out as a better version of myself, you know, and I'm trying to get the best version of myself. <laughs> I guess um, with all, you know, first of all, I think being a teenager is just not fun for anyone. So you have to pass through that and that's quite a challenge. When it comes to um, being in difficult situations and especially when it comes to my musical point of view, I spend most of my career not winning and not succeeding. So... Yes, for me, it was a decision to take every failure, every mistake, everything that didn't happen the way you wanted it as a chance to learn. And it's not because it comes natural to me. I have to force myself. You know, I'm a very dramatic person. I tend to love being the victim. But I'm like, okay, keep it together. It already happened, learn from it, it go on. And this is, this is the way I, I, I really try to see things. I think sometimes it's really good to, you know, really suffer because it's very healthy. <laughs> but, you know, you have to, you must not miss the point where you get up again.